I'm Christian Lemichka for Country Music News International and today we have Lucas Hodge on the show. Lucas, welcome. Hey man, it's good to see you again. How you been? I'm doing good. What happens to you since the last time we met each other? I've had lots going on, man. We've got a new record deal, just signed with Reviver Music. We have the, uh, the new single right here, <laughs> The Power of Garth, which is one of my favorite songs I've ever come across. And uh, just signed a new publishing deal as well. And we have a TV show coming out, too, called Hickstream. Wow, that's yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. So which is your favorite? All of it, man. Seriously, <laughs> I love it all. It's Everything is going so good. It's, uh, it's finally great to have this publishing deal to where I actually get a check every month for writing songs. <laughs> well, that makes a living. That does make a living. It's great. And uh, we're hitting the road and touring hard this year. Um, Cabela's is sponsoring our entire tour, and if you don't, if you haven't heard of the brand Cabela's, Cabela's is a great. It's kind of like Bass Pro or uh, Gander Mountain or something like that, but way better. <laughs> uh, well, if it's the sponsor, you have to say it. exactly. No, Cabela's is a is a home state um, sponsor as well, so they're home based out of Nebraska. Like that's where I'm originally from, okay. and um, just a great group, great brand, great people that work at that company too. So I'm proud to be a part of that family now. But all the activities you have now, you have no spare time anymore, or? No spare time at all. We're either on the road, or in the writing room, or on a radio tour, or uh, filming a TV show. So I'm, I'm excited about the TV show as well, because uh, like I said, it's called Hickstream. And, and uh, right now we're just doing uh, in-studio type of stuff, but uh, pretty soon we're going to be traveling all over the world, and we're going to be finding these crazy, weird, wacky Hickstream sporting events, and I'm going to be uh, exploiting them across the country. So... <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about writing songs, how it is. What comes first, the melody or the lyrics, or both together? A lot of times it comes both together, but um, I can sit in a room and, and build my catalog of melodies up so that I, you know, I've got something to, to, to knock on the wood with when it comes to putting li lyrics to it. So, uh, you know, when I'm sitting in a writing room with one or two other people, we kind of just start from scratch. We start throwing around ideas, you know, he'll give an idea, I'll give an idea, and I'll give another idea, and then we'll say none of those are good ideas and then we'll start over and just start going with a good idea and then I'll start playing a little melody or, or the other writer will as well and then we just start hammering it out and uh, 90 time, nine times out of ten we get something good. <laughs> so before you start writing the songs um, do you have a concept you say okay it have to be a country song or do you start just what comes to your mind and then you say okay that's more a pop song or this more a country song or a rap? A lot of times it's just uh, with the idea we kind of just start there and um, a lot of times we'll write country songs but uh, I have done a lot of film and TV where I love writing specific songs for different genres. Um, when you have a, something set in mind and somebody wants something exactly um, it's, it's easier to write a song like that, for me it is anyway, than, than to just pick something out of the air and start creating it, you know. So um, a lot of times when it comes to that um, we're, we're getting somebody that says hey we want a song like this so can you do that oh yeah absolutely instead um, like every day to day it's just picking an idea out of the air and just starting from scratch by the way um, I met years ago um, some girls which wrote songs too <clears throat> and they told me well they bought a bottle of wine and sitting then together before they start at writing songs so you yeah. you buying a bottle of whiskey might be? <laughs> uh, it's funny you say wine. Uh, I drink wine pretty much every every writing session. And uh, one of my one of my best friends from Napa Valley has his own winery and vineyards out there, and he's uh, nice. one of our sponsors this year too on the radio tour. His name's Tom Gamble of Gamble Family Vineyards. Fantastic wine. Which if you're coming to the show tonight at the Frist Room, we're giving away wine. I mean, these are like $150 bottles of wine. They're okay. amazing. So I've got one with your name on it. <laughs> oh, cool. I will. But yes, the liquid uh, uh, incentive is always good before you start writing. <laughs> so what do you think, what will happen in the next two years with you? Well, <clears throat> I'm really hoping that we have at least a top 10, if not top 20, if not number one single on our hands. We've got some great material. Um, me and my producer, Matt McClure, have really focused in on these new songs, and um, they're just one great song after the other. So we've got a single to back up the next single and to back up the next single. So I'm really excited to see how uh, the radio fans love it and listen to it and uh, react to all the stuff coming down the pipeline because um, we've got some great surprises coming up too. Great. So, folks, 
stay here with us at Country Music News International or if you want to keep up with to date with him directly you can go to lucashogue.com and Hogue is H-O-G-E you can get us all of our social medias right there Facebook, Twitter, Instagram it's just Instagram or Facebook whatever.com my name Lucas Hogue thanks so much